Hi everyone, we're really happy to be with you on this Tuesday. We are happy and God wants us to be happy. In the Bible, there are commandments to rejoice in the Lord from the beginning to the end. There's one in Psalm 33 in the Old Testament, there's one in uh, Philippians chapter 4 of the New Testament, just to give you two examples. Now some of us might kind of resent that God's telling us to feel a certain way, because how do you feel a certain way when you're not already feeling that? You just can't drum up emotions by themselves. But the expectation is not that we do that. The expectation is that if we focus our mind in the right direction and we bear in mind the truths of our lives and of our situation, we will be uh, energized, we will be inspired to feel joy. For example, we might be in all sorts of difficult situations. We might be in pain, we might be in sorrow, we might be in trouble, we might be in confusion, but whatever else we are in, we are still in the Lord and we can rejoice in having the best friend you could ever have, one who's really wise and knows what, just to do, what to do, who's really strong and can always do whatever needs to be done and who's always at our side and faithful. And he has destined us for heaven and he's gonna help us here in all the troubles of earth and Life is great. As St. Teresa of Avila said, all the way to heaven could be a bit of heaven itself. And so we are in a time of June gloom. Aye. We got a lot of clouds outside. We came out of time of May gray and didn't see much sunshine either. A little bit of sunshine peeked out on Friday afternoon and we hurried out real quick at the end of Friday late in the afternoon for an early dinner to grab some sunshine. Woke up to sunshine at the beach here on Saturday morning, but then by Sunday again, the clouds were back. And so some people find this time with the clouds really good, but a lot of people struggle with that. And so our surroundings may not be life-giving, they might be a little cozy, but the sunshine isn't there to kind of just pep up the day or put a little more of a smile on your face right now. And so we have to take an extra effort for that, and we can do that because we know the Lord's light is shining in the midst of clouds, the clouds of our life, the clouds in the weather. And so it's a time for us really to turn to the Lord, to have energy and joy in our days. So one of the advantages of keeping to certain spiritual disciplines is they help us get our bearings. It helps us to remember what's going on around us, no matter how bad it might seem. The, the God's there for us, we have loving people there for us, God works in all things for good. And when we remember these things, we end up finding it easy to rejoice. So may you have a week letting God's light bathe you. May you be in his light and live your days. And we'll see you next Tuesday. Take care and God bless. Bye-bye.